Hello and welcome to video six in my Hollybro Kakute F7 series. In this series, we're taking uh, a Kakute F7 and we're going from absolute zero to flying FPV. In an effort to not be too repetitive, uh, instead of going through the first five videos, uh, which would take a couple minutes, I've just got them slashed up here on the screen. And in this video, we are going to uh, flash our ESCs. And uh, you might notice that in this video, I might go a little too fast for you if you're kind of a beginner or whatever. Um, but let me call your attention to my absolute beginner's guide to building an FPV racing drone, which is, uh, oh, I don't know, it's got 11 videos, and uh, you might want to reference this video right here where I actually go through this process much, much slower, and I will go ahead and include a link to this playlist and the other playlist and the specific video that I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's dive in and uh, let's get our ESCs flashed and our motors running in the right direction, which is pretty much our last thing that we have to do before we go out and take a test flight. All right, so for this next step, it's absolutely positively mandatory that you take the props off. Do not have the props on. As a matter of fact, I even took the prop nuts off because I don't want the prop nuts flying up and hitting me. But let's go ahead and give her some power. Mm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip, uh, flip my arm switch. All right, let's see where I'm at with my motors. This one's spinning clockwise, which is good. This one is spinning clockwise, which is good. This one is spinning counterclockwise, which is good. And this one is spinning clockwise, which is not good. But hey, three out of four, not too shabby at all. We can fix that in BL Heli. So for the next step, I'm going to go ahead and plug in to the flight controller. And it's going to connect. Uh, through Betaflight, and what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect at this point. All right, so you're going to notice in the video here, I'm just going to roll right into BL Heli. Um, I'm assuming that you already have BL Heli installed on your machine. If you don't, please reference the other video that I referred to earlier in this video, which is linked below. Uh, keep in mind that there are two versions of BL Heli. There's BL Heli S and BL Heli 32. So it's important that you know what kind of ESCs you have so that you know which BL Heli uh, version to download. Moving right along. And I'm going to open up BL Heli right here. So here is BL Heli, and now what I want to do is I want to connect like so, and it's connected, and now I want to go ahead and give it some juice. So I'm plugging the battery in like so, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read setup, Let's see what I get. All right, good, it read it. All right, so what I've got is four Emacs formula, 45, Rev 32.4. All right, so that's what I've got. So if I select OK, there's 32.4. And if I want to flash BL Heli, all right, it's read that and it says, all right, so 32.7 is the latest and greatest. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to say OK for ESC1. Do you want to flash it? I'm going to say yes. It's going 32.4 to 32.7. Flashed successfully. I'm going to say OK. And now here's ESC2. So let's go ahead and do this one. ESC3. ESC4, well, that's good. Now we've got four ESCs that are 32.7. We are up to date with our firmware on our ESCs. Something that I failed to show you earlier was selecting the interface. This is actually already set to the interface, but if yours doesn't work, um, you want to set, you want to make sure that you set your uh, interface to this one right here. B 
beta flight, clean flight. My number two motor is the one that's spinning in the wrong direction. So I can get out of here, go back to here, connect, give her power, read setup. And there's that. I'm only going to select two. And what I want to do with ESC2 is I want to change the motor direction to reversed and right setup. And now go here. Now let's go ahead and select all of them again. And now I should be able to go to overview and ESC2 is reversed now. So I can go to motors. And that's going to force Betaflight to open up. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect Betaflight. Come back to BL Heli. I had to come back to ESC setup and I got to go ahead and connect again. Read setup. And as you can see, it says motor direction is reversed for ESC2. A lot of information here. So I'm going to go ahead and go OK. Go ahead and turn BL Heli off. I'm going to go ahead and connect here. Back to the motors page. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say that I understand the risks and my props are off. And I'm going to go ahead and goose this just a little bit just to get them spinning. I'm going to come back over here and I'm noting that this over here, this is supposed to be clockwise. And he is most definitely going clockwise. And this guy clockwise. And he is definitely clockwise. And he's counterclockwise. Yep. And he's counterclockwise. Yeah, all four motors are now spinning in the correct direction because of what we did in BL Heli. We don't have to resolder a thing. All right, so we've made an amazing amount of progress. One of my concerns was these ground wires right here. Um, somebody on a forum somewhere said that if you didn't have the ground wires plugged in, then you couldn't do the BL Halley pass through. Well, we've proved that wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip off uh, these because it seems like everything's working just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the ESCs, take care of the uh, receiver, get him squared away, and then uh, we'll do another final walkthrough and then we should be ready to fly. Okay, so this represents a great place to stop for this video. In the next video, we are going to do my pre-flight checklist, and we're going to get this thing up in the air, just line of sight, and then uh, make sure everything's flying okay and that we're happy with it. And then uh, after that, we'll do another video where we come back and we add all the FPV stuff. Uh, but for now, I hope you were able to get benefit out of this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really feel like you got benefit out of it, do me a favor, go out there, share on social media, tell somebody about it. And as you know, I'm a huge advocate. If you love flying, then get somebody into the hobby. Because if you, if you think you like flying now, wait till you get out there and fly with a friend. So do so. Get somebody in the hobby. That's it. I'm rolling out. This is Steve. See you in the next video.